So, Dejuan, before we get going, Dejuan, am I pronouncing that correct? Yes. Okay. What was, what was, yeah, what was the uh, experience like for you with uh, Team USA? Uh, it was fun. Got a good experience. Got to play against the top guys in the country, so it was pretty fun. How much confidence does that give you that you were able to go make the plays you did against those guys? Uh, I played pretty well down there, so it gave me a lot of confidence to let me know I could play. I could play against a good competition. So, for all of you, what the short time you've been here, how big of an adjustment has it been? Uh. It's been a big change from high school to here. I feel like the game sped up a lot more. It's more intense, more competition. Yeah, I'll say the same. Um, you know, just you work more, um, and you just have to have a good mindset. Just gonna come in each and every day. Uh, I feel like it's more becoming a man down here. Like you're not gonna get baby down here. How you get baby? Is, get baby in high school. So that's how I feel. It's more responsibility. They just want to be in the Chicago Player of the Year. Were you surprised that there wasn't more hype surrounding you at, at first, at least until recently in your recruitment process? Can you repeat that? I guess did you feel like you were under-recruited a little bit being a guy that was the Chicago Player of the Year? Uh, not really, because I didn't get that to the end of the season. So when I played at AU, I did what I had to do. I got this offer, so. I don't, I don't think so. Monty, Coach talks about you guys getting put through the ringer with lift and everything since you guys have gotten here. But a few weeks in, do you feel like you're catching on a little bit to the program here? Yeah, I think um, we're just trying to get stronger. Um, you know, they set, set us all at a weight, and we're just trying to make it a goal to um, get stronger every day. And don't complain and just just do what we came here for. Uh, same for me. I feel like since we got here, we've been, we've been pushing pushing hard every day. Um, I think I came in at 203. I'm at 215 now, so they've really been pushing us to our best. Uh, I feel like we've been getting better each and every day because we're in the gym every day, in the weight room every day. So I feel like as long as we just keep pushing, we new to everything, so we not we don't know how to do it, but we just catching on every day. So having freshmen in a program happens to every program. But you three kind of walk into a situation where. Hey State needs you guys to step on the court and play. Do you feel any pressure with that? All you guys that you're expected to play? Nah, I don't feel any pressure because I've been through hard things playing basketball before. So I feel like I worked hard enough to get here. So all I gotta do is just keep doing what I'm doing and my performance to show. Yeah, um, I feel like we've all through, been through challenges. Um, We've been through challenges in high school. We've been through challenges everywhere. So I think we're going to overcome all of that and just play as a team and be ready. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel the pressure. We played on. We all played on big stages. I mean, uh, I can see where people people think that by like seeing Dean Barry and Cam. Of course, filling we're filling in big shoes. But I feel like coach is going to get us ready for this time come come the season. A lot of fans haven't seen you guys, whether it's on highlight tapes or videos. If you wouldn't mind just maybe going down the line and, and describing us, if we never watched you play before, like what kind of player you are and, and what's your fans watch? Uh, I'm a guy that I play hard. I'm going to play some defense, rebound, score, and do. I, I'm a guy who that will do anything, whatever it takes to win. So a competitor. I'm going to play hard, get rebounds, shoot the ball. I'm versatile. Uh, I can put the ball on the floor, pass really good for my size. So. Yeah, um, I can play uh, uh, one through five and just shoot it, dribble it. So I just make sure my versatility shows it. Who has been <laughs> the, the guy or a couple of guys that have really taken you under their wing so far, the, the veterans that are here on the team? Uh, for right, well, as of now, since I got here, I just been, I've been talking to uh, Xavier, Cardi, and uh, Mike and Sean a lot. And they've been helping me whenever I need some help. They're helping me about whatever it is. You guys? Yeah, I feel like Xavier and Cardi really put an influence on me. Get in and work with these guys. They're in here 24-7, so it's really a great tool to use. And if you got older guys that's been playing a long time, just taking you under their wing. Yeah, um, honestly, I would say it'd be, it's everybody because everybody wants to work. Um, nobody wants to lay each other down. Everybody just wants to keep getting in the gym and getting better and competing, so yeah.
Most of you guys like using Twitter and whatnot, like to get other recruits to look at K State. Like, oh, I want to go there too. Mm -hmm. no. I mean, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter. I mean, I get on a little bit. I mean, I check my feed now and then, and then when I see K State is offered somebody or like looking at somebody, I go see see how they how they ball up. But I don't really use it like that. Uh, I use Twitter a lot, but I sometimes I never really see if somebody offered back got offered back K State. So I don't really see it. So, but if they committed like Nigel, I retweet whatever it is. So. Yeah, um, I used Twitter a lot in high school, um, but now, you know, we have a busy schedule. But when I get the chance and I see somebody who's just maybe got offer, I just a lot of comment or something, and, you know, just try to put some feedback and maybe get them to come here. Just one for you, has there been any, like, what's it like going from Chicago, a big place like that, coming to, you know, a place that's so much smaller and different like Manhattan? Uh, in Chicago, everything is like fast, a lot more people. But out here, everything is kind of slower than how the city is. So, like, to me, me being here, I feel like I'm in the suburbs of Chicago. So, it's cool, it's good for me. That way, I don't get in any trouble. I can just be in a gym a lot. But yeah, it's different, though. For, for any freshman, no matter how successful you are, there's going to be a period probably early where maybe a little homesick or it just seems hard. Do you feel like y'all have somebody you can already reach out to, whether it's on your coaching staff or whatever, when that time comes? Yeah, I've been homesick already. Yeah. I, I was ready to go home the day I stepped on the plane. But it's people on the team that I just talk to about whatever. So they, they treat me like family, so I'd be pretty good with them. Um, I only live like five and a half hours away. So I mean, I got to go home for the, a little, little break on July 4th weekend, but uh, usually who I just go to when I'm missing home, I, I like to talk to Coach Corn a lot because he's a pretty cool guy. I can relate to him, and he just helps me get through a lot of things. Yeah, I'd definitely say um, the first week or so was kind of tough, tough for me because, uh, you know, just coming all the way to Kansas. But, you know, I've I've adapted to it. I mean, we, we're tight, and we just group doesn't want to work, so it's, it's fun. That's an interesting point. I'm curious as to you guys – for all three of you, do you look at this as you're the next wave of Dean Barry and Cam, or is this just you guys? Do you step uh, both ways? I feel like we definitely want to have an impact on the program as much as those guys did, but we want to do it in a different way that leaves a lasting impact. And like just coming into a program that was highlighted by them, I feel like that's special and looking up to them and trying to do our own thing is very important. Uh, I feel like we're replacing their shoes, but we don't want to play how they but play how they play. We want to make it our our own wave, but it's great to be in their shoes and fall behind them. When you see guys like Dean, Donald, Rodney getting his deal, and Wes in the NBA, does that excite you about the possibilities of you guys ending up in the league? Right yeah, yes, because uh, it shows that this school is good enough that we can somehow get to the NBA. Like, just because everybody wanted dunks don't really come here don't mean that we can't go to the NBA. So I feel like, yeah, it's exciting to see them getting their deals and seeing Barry and them playing in the summer league and playing good, so. What's the coaching staff been like? Uh, I know, obviously, you guys have known them for a while, but how, how has they been helping you guys uh, they be on. They've been on us hard. Just keep us and keep going. Like they always let us know that if we mess up, sometimes it's really not our fault because we don't know yet. So it's not gonna be so easy. So it's just it's gonna it's gonna take some time to get used to everything. Everything is a habit.